One last thing I want to pass in here before we uh, go and try to test this. Inside of the environment variables, we can pass in the server port. So here we can see server underscore port. Okay, so remember we have this specify in our application as well, and I'm going to set this to 3000. So, okay, so make sure that this is running on 3000. Now, we didn't really have to do this because if we go inside of the index file, so if I go inside of the index file, you can see that on line 11, we're going to get 3000 anyway, because if we don't pass anything, we get 3000. So I didn't really have to do this. But I just wanted to show you. So let's go back and I'm going to copy this line as well and then put it in the that env file. So that env and then I'm going to paste it here. And then this time I'm just going to set it to 5000. Okay, so I'm going to change this to a 5. Just save it so that we can see the difference. So when we run it on our local, it's supposed to run on 5000. But if you ran inside of the container, then it should be on 3000 so that we can see the difference when it's loading this environment variable file and when it's actually reading the variable from the Docker file. I just want you to see the difference. So I set the port to different numbers. So I'm going to open another terminal here. So let's do this. And what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to check to see what I have running. So I have Docker PS. And you can see that I have a MySQL instance running. So this terminal is a little bit too small for me. Uh, let's get out of this and let's go to my second workspace. And here I'm going to clear the screen and navigate to where I have this application. So node. All right. So if I do Docker PS, you will see that I have the instance of MySQL running. So I'm going to do Docker dash compose down. Okay. So we're going to stop this. And then we're going to remove the container as well. Clear the screen. So now if we do Docker PS dash A so that we can see everything, you see that we don't have this container running anymore. So if I do Docker images, we should only see the MySQL image. As you can see, we have that image here. And then we're going to run Docker dash compose up and then dash D. But this time we need to pass in dash dash build so that it can build the Docker file inside of the Docker compose file. So when we run this command, it should start the MySQL server. And then after that, it's going to start the node application and everything should work together. So we're going to run this one command and it's just going to do the trick for us. It's going to start the containers, run everything, map all the ports to our local computer, and then we should be able to Test the application exactly like we were doing before. But this time, we're just not going to start it ourselves with npm run start dev or start prod because we specified this inside of the image. So whenever Docker is going to start the image, that's the command that's going to run. So it's going to start the node application as well. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay, it looks like we have an error and it says that on line three in my Docker file, I have a problem here. So let's go inside of the Docker file. So you can see here I'm copying something, but I'm not specifying where I want to copy everything. So what I'm going to do is specify that I want to copy everything inside of the code folder that we just define up here. So I put that in the forward slash. So let's go ahead and save all that and then quit and clear the screen and then run the command again. So that's the Docker compose up dash D for detach and then build the Docker file and then run. All right. So this can take some time because it has to pull the images and then download everything. So I'll come back when this is finished. So everything completed for me, I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen and then I'm going to run Docker PS and this is going to show us all the containers that we have running and you can see we have two containers running. So the application and then the MySQL container. So what I'm going to do is to just put this inside of Vim again so that we can see everything and then I'm going to do enter and maybe I should zoom out a little bit. All right. So you can see we have the two containers running. And if you look at the very end, you'll see that we have the two names. So we have the MySQL container and then we have the node app container. So both of our containers are running and now we can go ahead and check the application out. So let's quit this and then zoom back in, clear the screen. And if I go to my second workspace and I can do HTTP and then go to 3000, so 3000. And if I send this, you see that the application is already running. So let's see if we can access some patients. So clear this, go to forward slash patients. All right, so you see that the same information that we had earlier, we still had that information because we map the MySQL database onto our local machine. So that's why we still have the same information. We didn't lose anything because we mounted this volume. So the volume where the MySQL server is saving the data on our computer. So whenever we map it again, then it will remember all the data that we had. And you can go ahead and test this further. If you want, you can test the create, update and delete, but I already know everything is still working. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen and let's go back and I'm going to go ahead and log into the database so that I can take a look. So let's see if we can find this command so that we can log into the database that's running on my host computer. 
this is the command. So we're going to log in as a root user and I'm going to press enter and let's uh, show all the database. So if I go up, show databases. Okay. You see that our database is there. I'm going to zoom in once Then we're going to use our database. All right. And then let's see what we have inside of the database. So select everything from patients and let's press enter. Okay. That's actually too big. I'm going to zoom out a little, clear the screen and then run the query again. You can see that we have the data inside of our database. So everything seems to be working properly and you can go ahead and test it more. But at this point, everything should be working. We have Dockerized the entire application, both the database part and the actual application itself, which is the node application.